Welcome on back to Up North at Four. Sarah and Clyde joining us now from the Merrill Chamber of Commerce. I, you know, we caught up with you guys. Oh man, that would have been what? A couple of months now. Yeah. Long summer What's weekend. That? Was that, like, that was uh, at the county fair. August? August, yeah. August at least. So it's been a few months since we've chatted with you folks. What's happening in Merrill these days? <laughs> oh, man, well, there's always something going I, on. I feel like there's always something going there's on. There's always something Sorry. going on, yep. At the Merrill Chamber, we just, uh, about a week and a half ago, finished up our uh, annual celebration. Mm -hmm. We had a record number of people in attendance. We had over 250 wow. people in attendance from the, from the uh, our chamber members. Mm -hmm. And we gave out our annual awards. We usually give out five awards. Uh, this year, we gave out six. Uh, our lar biz large business of the year, those businesses of the year are all based upon uh, employee sizes. Mm -hmm. So the large business of the year this year was Free Mark Innovations. Mm -hmm. uh, they do curtain wall uh, windows, and they've done some things to reduce or increase the R value to make the uh, uh, buildings more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. Our um, mid-sized business of the year was Bremen Ford, Bremen Merrill Ford, and they okay, do a yeah. fantastic job over there. Uh, Joe and Dave and the entire staff. The uh, Small town business of the year was uh, polka dot pie. No, nope. Cul Culvers. Oh, Culvers. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Culvers. Oh, Culvers. Was Culvers and polka dot pie is the next one? Yeah. I was there Culvers. last night. <laughs> Joe jo jo and, jo and Lori Wakefield do a fantastic yes, job. Yes, they do. And then the hometown business of the year was polka dot yes, pie. Yes, and we and frequent there as well. <laughs> we we bit, do yeah. frequent there as well, as, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. Um, they, as you can tell, right? They had yeah. they had cream puffs at the fair this year, if you oh, recall. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I got the cream puffs. Yeah. He was pounding in the cheese curds. I was too preoccupied. Occupy. Yeah. Yeah. Hands up on that one. You know, we've uh, you know we've often had we've often had this talk about what the Chamber of Commerce does, and it's it's amazing to some people that it's not just about drawing in tourists, right? You work right. closely with local businesses exactly. and to kind of expand their footprint, right? Yep. Yep. And where do you start that? Like you just kind of help them develop how to get their their business out there, or where does that start? We're a resource. I mean, we want to talk with the businesses, provide, you know, we have an HR committee. So small businesses a lot of times don't have that one person that can be HR necessarily totally informed. So we started back our HR committee. So that's one resource, you know, helping them get through the, the times that we are in and they can collaborate with other businesses in the area. So yeah. And just one of the many things. I was going to say, I know so many towns, so many areas have been hit especially hard the last couple of years just with the pandemic, everything going on. So I, I, I know things aren't completely back to normal yet, but I guess how are things going just citywide for you folks in Merrill? Are you seeing that growth sort of starting to come back a little bit? Oh, I believe so. You know, you see uh, we've getting more and more tourists coming into the community. Mm -hmm. Uh, the businesses are doing a fantastic job. If, if the uh, pandemic did anything, it, it showed businesses that they can market their product differently and still still save that bottom line. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you have a, a drive-through um, and don't have the people in the front desk or the front area like uh, like Skippers does, you know, mm -hmm. they, they keep doing that or it's just how you market your product. I feel like I keep hearing job. that from everyone, that the pandemic forced everyone to think differently about their mm -hmm. businesses yeah. and that the systems they put in place because of the pandemic, they're keeping in place now because yeah. they're working. Yeah. It works for them. And I'm looking forward, though, because I'm trying to get us the snowiest winter on record up this way. <laughs> and I know Merrill's so got some times. pretty cool snow trails, yep. which also helps the economy, right? Right, yeah. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get those trails open here pretty soon. Yes, I hope I, so. We I don't know if I need the snowiest on record. <laughs> but I, Let's go Sarah and I home. are in agreement yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah. I think well, mild, we'll take some snow. good you know, <laughs> snow for Christmas. Yes. I, and then you're fine. done? Yeah. <laughs> That's too early. the same boat. Yeah. Well, you too. It's always a pleasure talking to you both. We really appreciate you guys coming on and just kind of chatting with us for a little bit. Of course, we hope we got to do this again in the near oh, future. Absolutely. Of course. Not a problem. In the meantime, though, we're going to take a break here in Over. Up North at 4. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>